You know what Vera just said this looks like? She said this looks like some instrument out of the 70s what the KGB used. Um, <laughs> I think so. it looks beautiful. It, it looks, looks beautiful. Like... The inside of the Concorde, the cockpit looks like that too. <laughs> That's our low budget roof tent control station. Is that a good name for it? That's a good name. Yeah. So what else are you doing? I'm working on this little panel you suggested, which we're gonna mount inside the rooftop tent. I welded this aluminum box. You did? So it's gonna get a rear cover. And this is gonna sit in the rooftop tent, you know, clip on one of the posts. And then inside this panel, I'm gonna put the display in here. And then I have a nice voltmeter and a switch which goes on the side. All of those components cost altogether 19 euros. And then on top, I'm gonna mount a outlet port for, um, for example, the laptop. And then I got you here the USB charge Most ports. Important. They go in here. And then I even got a little dimmer, which goes in here. And then this dimmer is gonna run you a where do I have that? Oh yeah. A LED strip. That LED strip's gonna run along the um, um, along that aluminum support structure. Yeah. In the tent. Yeah. And then the whole thing gets connected with the cable to the box, and yeah, and then you're all done. I found my screwdriver. Christian has it in the mall crawler. Usually I get the blame when a tool is missing. Yep, everything is still fine. So the box is almost finished. So this I thought I put in here and there are nuts included. Get this one in here, there, yeah. there. So you can switch it on and off. This goes in here. It says marine on it. There. Okay. I made this little detail here. This is for holding the connector. So the electrician at work. Oh, plus is minus and minus is plus. Oh my god, you messed that up. Plus is minus and red is black. There we go. Good enough. Oh, that's a dimmer now. It has a cover. Cool. Oh. So actually, Christian made that cable. 
when he was 16 <laughs> and now he's 50 and using it. It was completely different. <laughs> I got this cable since I was 16 and I made this during my apprenticeship, okay? We had to solder up a standard cable in the company I still work today and then I kept this cable. And, and now this we... time I cut it because it had the right... And cable. now we actually used okay. it. I finally got this now assembled, okay? I did this off camera because it was driving me nuts. I glued this display in so it's all pretty here. <laughs> yeah. It looks a little bit like Cap Canaveral. Yeah. And there we got your charge port. This is a potentiometer. This is a but, connector. Yeah. We got a voltmeter and an on-off switch and the display. So, and of course I had to make a self-made aluminum box because I found that the plastic boxes on Amazon didn't have the right size and they annoyed me. I got here a temporary setup. I'm going to switch sides. So with this temporary setup, we got 12 volts here. See, it turns on and you got now a voltmeter right here. I got here an on-off switch so you can turn it off. This way you don't have that light at night. Yeah. I should say we don't have this light <laughs> at night. Okay. This is of course a outlet, but you can only pull six amps here. So this is not suitable for who knows what. Here's your USB charger. But the phone charger is the most important thing. Yeah, this this is not switched off. This is permanently off. Yeah. Okay. Very good. And then another thing I did now is I got this connector in here. And this is gonna be a light strip. I turn this on. I have here a dimmer even. Cool. So See, we're I gonna can, use that at So I can dim this. See? Yeah. This is neat. Yeah. It's too yeah. Really neat. How nice is that? Yeah. So I have to take this connector off. Yeah. And put it onto here. And we have to lift your box off your vehicle so I can do the no. wiring inside the box. There is no other chance. That is really bad. We need to install the carbon monoxide alarm inside the roof tent. So I bought a really good one. We're gonna keep that thing in the tent, yeah? Yeah. It's a nice looking one. So this thing has to be installed. One component I bought high quality, which is this one. It says made in Tunisia, so it's Oh not... my God, I've never ever seen that sticker. <laughs> yeah, so it's definitely yeah, I not I made in know China. That. And this is a Hella, and Hella is a German brand. And this is actually a little bit of a better quality, and it's like eight euros versus the Chinese one only costs you like two euro fifty even though i don't know what this feature is supposed to do that's like you know when they catch the grabs okay but you can twist uh, this off and you also have the small style oh cool in the north sea then ship them to tunisia to have them peeled and then ship them back up to <laughs> yeah i didn't know the... that a german brand made in tunisia because it's around the corner i mean of course you <laughs> are you done here now you say stop recording when you're finished so say it stop recording we're gonna set up the rooftop tent to finish up some details on the inside and what the what was that what was that i think it was andreas okay when you set up your rooftop tent of course you have to lower down the air suspension first because if you got a leaky air suspension and your car lowers at night you suddenly have one of those incline beds like in the hospital i like my little household letter here i don't i got an email from someone in the uk offering us yellow rotopacks he's got two left and he wants to sell them to us so i got to show you that picture see if you like them actually yeah. i got that email too in my age you know i use <laughs> the back of the discovery as a platform to get the rooftop tent ready and I need to think about what the steps are so I don't have to go up here and down here too many times <laughs> so I have to remember I'm opening these two now and I also have to remember that I release the letter yeah that's important and then I can comfortably come down here okay now I go up a second time which is here with my little household letter and I have to throw this far over so it doesn't hang up. And I have to remember to open this latch now and pull this here, okay? So, so far I have not wasted any of my valuable energy. Oh my God. Okay. Now I go over here and I also watch the order. So also my walking distance is optimized in a very efficient German way. Now I pull this thing down. And I'm not even leaving here my letter. 
I just throw it down. Oh, and because I got my ladder released by sinking ahead, I can now pull it out. Isn't that smart? Now notice that I can now move my ladder away only once to set up the rooftop tent. I don't set up my rooftop okay. tent like that. I did everything only once. And these steps from here to over here to over here, we do that, I don't know, maybe 20 times a year, maybe 20, 20 times, maybe four times a no, year. Maybe I would say in summary, this is now at least the third time this year already, and it's not even season. <laughs> yeah. So, because you always want to sleep in the backyard. <laughs> so maybe it's 25 times a year. Okay? Yeah. And I think these tents, just for those people who think about buying these, yeah, the Amazon truck is making noise. Just for the for you guys who think about buying an alu cap or something that expensive, which is on the roof, I think it is just not looking as cool as these traditional tents. That's yeah. the bottom line. These look way cooler than as if you have these helicopter landing platforms. On. Oh my That's God. just yeah. what I think what they look like here. Yeah. on a Discovery or on a Land Cruiser. It's actually okay because the car is so huge. But if the cars are one step smaller, just a tiny bit smaller, it's a helicopter landing platform. Not even mentioning the money you have to spend for 25 times a year. Even in my age, it's not that hard to set these up. It's just so much noise today. It it's doesn't matter. Saturday morning breakfast traffic. Yeah. Think about when you want to buy a rooftop tent, how often do you need it? How is your mobility? Can you still walk those two steps up and down like I did? And how much money do you want to spend before you just go out and buy the biggest helicopter platform you can get? They're like there's not enough rooftop tent footage on YouTube. Huh? Question is getting so on my nerves. But we're not getting divorced. We know. But when I film, I create too much footage. When I don't film, I don't pay attention. Okay. This is my <laughs> Cat Canaveral controller. And we're going to mount this. And here, look how cool this is. These are EN PVC pipe clips in Germany. And this brand, watch that. Cool. That's that, really cool. Isn't that awesome? So I'm going to mount them here and here and we can clip Cap Canaveral on here. Yeah. We're going to run then this LED strip and leave this permanently installed in here. Yeah. So I mounted the EN20 PVC pipe clips and I used nylock nuts. This way I can get some tension on them and still turn them and get them into the right orientation inside the tent. <gasps> What? Did this oh, it interferes with my... Oh, I, that's what I was asking, if, it, if yeah. there's room inside. Yeah, there was room. <laughs> all set now? Yeah. Yes, you missed it, but it's all set. So... This thing got the ear and pipe clips on. Yeah, I'm filming. Yeah. <laughs> but it looks pretty neat. The cable goes now out to our roof tent box. See the connector is right there. So my cable is plenty long enough. So this connector goes on here. There you go. See I got this LED strip which plugs now in here. So now we can mount this right here. Cool. We're just gonna go for it. We'll glue it down here. each other see each other <laughs> <laughs> I would yeah. say we run it up to here yeah and then we run a cable down here and up here and put a little piece of what's left up on the top how is that you know I'm really good with a soldering iron <laughs> whenever I use a soldering iron two hours pass by yeah. No, I would go all the way to here. There. But then it looks symmetrical or kind okay, I don't all know. The way to here? Yeah. Oh my god. There you go. 
So we have to get the roof box down one more time to make an electrical modification to it. Then we're ready. So wait. What am I waiting for? I have a camera in my hand. We gotta make one modification to our box, to this electrical connector. Yeah. When we did the video on our heater here, I think I got about 22 comments for there is a hole inside the muffler here and it needs to face down. I think this thing is gonna survive it, even if there is some condensation in here. Oh, look, I got this all wired so nicely and now we're gonna have to... Oh. And do you know what the formula is for this wiring? Do you still remember? Yeah, red is black and plus is minus. Red is blue and plus is minus. Yeah, so in this case. very easy wiring. This goes back in here. And I even wired you in a fuse. Yes, a car fuse, so I don't have to carry extra an extra fuse, you know. I have that one always with me. Oh, there's a defender coming. Yes, there's a defender coming. Oh yeah. You hear that? What, is this like a cup holder or something? It looks like there's something no, missing. Is. And I'm not a defender guy. But the problem is right here. It's a pretty obvious problem, I think. Yeah, you see here? <laughs> I think everybody sees that. This does not belong like this. So let me fix that. <laughs> Look at that, you can take off the hood, the bonnet. I did not know that. So we're learning stuff about <laughs> Defender now. Yeah. Okay. On the Defender engine, you got a cup holder right here. So when you work on the car and you have a beer can in your hand, you put it right in there. That's the only purpose I can see for this. It's a cup holder. It's definitely a cup holder. My first engine repair on a Defender is completed. I got the hose clamp back on. I think it was just not sitting correctly. George said he had them replaced a little while ago. Sounds oil. like an engine again. Yeah. Here, here was a lot of oil, but it might have come from the hose down there. That's something I did not know. Wow. Does sound like a piece of sheet metal, doesn't it? <laughs> Got this all done. It's all wired in. Red is blue and plus is minus and we also got a fuse. I'm not gonna do red is black and plus is minus. If both are black. <laughs> it's black and white. So white is black and plus is minus. That's it. <laughs> okay. Uh, why do we Germans do everything with ferrules? I don't know. You're the electrician. Well, I cut them a little long. Yeah. Maybe we should make it dark in here. Oh yeah. That's so romantic. Oh, yeah, without a mattress. Close this up so it's all dark. It's dark and romantic. Um, and now we got this background noise here from our neighbor using his huge wood chipper. But that's okay, I don't mind. With this switch anyhow, you turn on for sure the voltmeter. Yeah. yeah. And then, with this one here, oh. you turn on the LED oh, lights. Oh, look at that. I have also a light strip here now. Yeah, I got that. He did that yeah. while I was making lunch. Yeah. Yes, I, I, don't need, I don't need a reading light anymore. No, this is okay. really bright. And this much, is excellent. And how much... Um, that well, was. I don't do electricity, so how much voltage does that draw? What the or hell? You and... don't do torque and you don't do electricity. <laughs> Are you doing anything? No, no. We got our light strip. And see, the light strip is dimmable right here. Dim it. Oh, yeah. Oh. 
It's really cool. I'm gonna sleep here tonight. Oh my gosh. So and that's like the best. Yeah, it turned out so better cool. than I thought. Yeah, it's yeah, I've been wow. hiding the cables. Yeah, I've been hiding the cables here behind the profile, and these are self-sticky. And the light strip was 15 euros. We got this switch here, yeah. and this switch turns off oh. the lights. Yeah. So it doesn't abuse that dimmer switch because these dimmer switches, you know, the ones which click, they don't last long. And then here you can see your fuel burning heater remote. So which means if you turn this on now, do you remember how to turn it on? It's, all, it's all ready to run. If you push you that sure? switch, it should turn on. Yeah. Oh, no, it leave it. Ah. Good. What's important if I turn this off now, the heater keeps on running. Ooh. And here you got your charge outlets, but you got USB yeah, from right here. Phone. And you got a 12 volt outlet. The 12 volt outlet turns off Oh, these LEDs are flickering in the camera. So the 12 volt outlet turns off with this switch. Yeah. But the USB stays on because you want to charge overnight. So let me get the hose in here. Here. Yeah. And this is our hose. hose from the heater. And we run this in here in this corner. So, but we still need an air distribution duct. But these pieces are not so bad for now. Yeah. yeah? So we have this stuff under our mattress in order yeah. to get air onto yeah. the mattress and but for condensation. It works pretty good, but it takes up an additional half inch. Well, actually an inch because it's folded yeah. up. So Easy On is a South African company, I think. And you can see here all the wild animals of the Kalahari Desert yeah. <laughs> on the mattress, I mean. <sighs> Most important. So the heater is now running for quite a while while we got the mattress up in the tent. This is always a huge exercise. It's hot in here, isn't it's it? It's really hot. <laughs> <laughs> so um, here is the charging port from Cape Canaveral. Okay, show me if the cell phone is really charging, if this is working. It's not charging. It's not charging. I have an old iPhone which has lasted oh, for many years. See, on mine it charges okay that's great because mine is completely full so you know? did you see the date yeah it's March 26 there's 85% charge that's important for everyone and it's the 23rd so that's it that's our low budget roof tent control station <laughs> is that a good name for that's it a good name. yes very nice oh, look at that. <laughs> so to take this off Okay, we basically got to disconnect it on the outside. So I got to open this up here. There's my plug right in front of the window. We disconnect this. And now I can unclip this and unplug this. Can we yeah. just have it lying there flat? Um, it might be, yeah, yeah. In, in the summer. Now the rooftop tent heater hose, I still need to buy a 90 degree elbow here, but that's yeah. the only thing left missing. The heater hose basically lays here flat on the roof. I still need like a clip. I'm gonna look for it later on where I can clip this in. Yep. Yep. Maybe yeah. it needs a bag. Oh, I'm gonna sew a bag. Yes. And put it in here. Bang. And there we go. There we go. I can take this hose and clip it in here. How is that? I like that. Uh, there's some chips. No, it doesn't matter. I want you guys to count how often I have to get up and down to get this rooftop tent torn down.
and who is eating something. So I don't know if it's the same with you, but if I do a project like this, I mean, it wasn't that complicated. My workbench looks like this afterwards. Isn't that amazing? So I'm wearing a head and down jacket again. Yeah, for a moment I was worried that we're not going to get to use our diesel heater in the rooftop tent. But that sure changed when you look at the weather which just moved in here. Now I do want to say something about last week's video. Land Rover Diagnostics in 5 Steps. The purpose of that video was that everybody understands a little bit how to go about a problem. And the message was to not write an email which starts with oh my car is broken and the dash light is on and the suspension lowered and all bings and bongs appeared and it's all red and it doesn't drive anymore and it's in limp mode and that from all over the world but apparently that's all what I achieved with this video that I got now about 80 of those emails and unfortunately I cannot answer those because they do not give me any kind of idea. If you are in the possession of a gap tool, of course you're supposed to use this gap tool as described in the video and that involves also the research on the internet. <laughs> We have a suspension fault. <laughs> System fault. Special programs off. Oh, wow. We're not going to repeat the video from last yeah. week. So anyway, we completely yeah. missed um, our goal with the last video. That's the message. Another thing I wanted to say is that there is no chance that you write your problem in the video description and expect then a reply on how to fix your problem over the video descriptions. I at least cannot reply to those. At least I cannot reply multiple times. If I reply once, the message disappears from our platform and I cannot follow it. The short message is the only way to get a reply yeah. from us is if you become a Patreon and you write over Patreon or you send us an email, but then that email must include some valuable information about the problem, yeah. otherwise there's no chance. Almost forgot one thing. Yeah. Um, I wanted to show Vera's bag. <laughs> wow, this looks really nice. Yeah. And it got the clear window. Yes, yeah, so we know what's inside. Yeah, and look, she even got the seams covered this well, time with some special fabric to make this more durable. Yeah. Because I think she intends to use the roof tent more often. <laughs> if she wants to use it in our backyard today, um, she can even use the diesel heater because it's snowing again. That's a really nice bag. Yeah, What's that other thing you made? I made another bag for my hiking maps. <laughs> that is incredible. I like to hike a lot, you know? And oh, you gotta buy it now, a bear fabric. For each region I have hiking maps wherever I go or we go and they always lie around so I made a nice bag. We sure got a bag for everything. Yeah, you can put one of those patches yeah. on. So this really completes our video this week. We want to thank our Patreons like every week. They make these videos possible by supporting our channel financially. We really, really appreciate that. Then, of course, if you like what you saw in this video, go check out our other videos. They are all in this sense. Most of them are about Land Rover repair and Land Rover maintenance. Please like, subscribe and share. And in any case, please do not unsubscribe. And I still have a couple of patches left, just in case you're interested. Patches are available. Yep. <laughs> and we got oil pressure one bar, as you can see here. It's 1.1, like it's supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, email Vera if you want one of these patches or a sticker or anything else. Yeah. So that's it. Yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and see you next Sunday. So look at that. It's done. And it's a hedgehog. It's a hedgehog, okay. It's a hedgehog. Yeah. yeah. I thought it's called an eel. No, an eel is that. So it's, com singing. it's completed now. <sighs> it looks so cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and that one. What is this? <laughs> the funny guy. First, I, I know my cable here is coming in here somewhere through the wall, so... So there it is.
I got this now all cut open. Now I run my new cable in and we'll close it back up. So this is all done, like a 10 minute job to do something like this in Germany because the houses are built so practical. And I got my server station down here, so this is good. It's like 15 degrees and really warm. The car is not broken or any maintenance job needs to be done and the diesel is so expensive that we can't travel. So Christian has to cut our trees. Yeah. We should have done it before and after. Look how that tree looks. So this is from one apple tree. Yeah. Which I didn't take care of for about, what, three years? I would say five. And it looks like it's been the most taken care of tree ever. <laughs> so when you cut an apple tree, there are two rules which apply. And they're very simple. And it's like in the bedroom. If it's hanging down, it's no good. <laughs> and where one branch is, another branch can't be. That's it. <laughs> That's all you gotta take care of when you cut your apple. <laughs> See here? This one is already busy. And it's hanging down. Now we're gonna have to take care of that, all that. So those are the remaining clips. We are missing for my D-column cover. 